black people. It's all about the unity. There's nothing they can do with us, so ain't nobody moving me. Like Dr. King, we make it plain and simple. Bringing down a dead fire at Reality Temple. Reality Temple. My black people. It's all about the unity. There's nothing they can do with us, so ain't nobody moving me. Like Dr. King, we make it plain and simple. Bringing down a dead fire at Reality Temple. time you used to look to him for our history and our culture. Hey, I'm good. How are you doing, Renato? How are you? Good. Good. This, How's it going? Uh, this is not a personal thing. This is something we have just... We cannot do it. Hey! 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 What is this Akata shit? Like American? Oh, shit. Cotton picker. Yeah, 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 what's up? Y'all already know who it is. It's your man, Ant Mo, right here. Ant Mo, what's up? AKA Ant Mo, the Dark Knight. My topic of today's episode is Black people are too comfortable. In America, I was talking about how black people are not really, we are not really American citizens. The thing about us as a people being comfortable is that we are on enemy turf. This is not our country, even though Africans were here before they made up the story about Columbus discovering America. Still, this is not our country because we don't own nothing here. We are people without land and without resources. I just want to go deep into this, like, because I know a lot of people, they don't understand it in certain terms, so I'm going to break it down in different type of terms. So just just let me break it down like this. Just think about this. Let's just, just think about this. I decide to go out and kidnap a 10-year-old girl. So I, t I kidnap this 10-year-old girl and I force her to live in my basement for 25 years. You know what I'm saying? Now the girl been in my basement for 25 years and now she 35 years old. And when I first kidnapped the girl, when she was 10, you know, she was fighting. She was doing whatever it take to get away from me, to escape me, to get back to our family because she knew that being with me wasn't the right place to be. She knew that I kidnapped her and forced her against her will. So she would do anything to get away from me. Anything it took because she knew who she was. She knew she had to get back to our family. She knew that living in my basement forced against her will wasn't the right place to be. You understand what I'm saying? But now, 25 years done went by. You know what I'm saying? Now she's a grown woman. She's 35 years old now. So now she's been living with me in my basement for so long. That's all she know. You know what I'm saying? So it's like she's been brainwashed and drugged and poisoned just by my presence. Now she has no idea who our family is. She has no idea who she really is. She has no idea of trying to get away from me and escape and get free. All she knows is me and my basement and the things that I've taught her and the things that I've forced upon her. You understand what I'm saying? And that's, that's the same way we are black people. In America, we was kidnapped, brought here to be slaves, and now we've been here for so long, we settled into our slave master's plantation. We have settled into America, a place where we have no freedom, no land, no resources.
we are too comfortable here. And I'm not saying it like, oh, we should get up and leave America and go to Africa or go wherever. It's not about that. It's about, okay, if you're going to be here, at least, you know, be on your P's and Q's, start businesses, do something positive, you know, represent yourself with class and dignity and integrity. You want to be here comfortable and you want to cool and you want to be ignorant, dumb and reckless and whatever the hell you do. Like, really? Like, come on, man. It's time for motherfuckers to wake up, man. But I just wanted to break that down to y'all so y'all could understand, you know, where I was coming from, you know what I'm saying, but it's your man Ant Moore the Dog, Ant Moore the Dog Night TV, one love. I'm sorry, this this subject sort of makes me laugh because I, I already know what I want to say. And those of whom I am I am directing this uh, conversation to, chances are they don't really like me. <laughs> so uh, they don't feel as though uh, I'm their brother. And uh, in reality, we are not. Because if you don't stand with me, if you don't care nothing about my welfare, if you align yourself with those who cause me harm, no, you are not my brother. You are not my sister simply because you have dark skin, simply because you have a broad nose, thick lips, and kinky hair, and some of y'all are trying to get rid of that with your plastic surgery, cutting, cutting your nose off, cutting your lips off, and all those type of things. So perhaps we are not. And I cannot be your brother. Because uh, we are on different sides of the fence. You are on the side of wickedness, lies, and deceit. And I stand for real truth, justice, and equality for all on this planet, including animal life. In fact, this earth itself needs to be brought back into balance brought back into what y'all call peace. I would like to speak briefly about a particular mentality. And that mentality y'all call the mentality of an Uncle Tom. The mentality of the Sambo. The mentality of what I call the backyard Negro. The mentality of of whom I call the dark Europeans. These are dark skinned individuals that really, 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 really love pink people, racist Caucasian people. They love them for some reason. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad said, Why do these Sambos, why do these dark Europeans, why do they love? The racist pink people, they love them because they give them nothing. Because they abuse them. Because they lie to them. They love them for these things. But of course they can't stand you. They can't stand me. They can't stand those who, are, who look like themselves. And I don't want to get you too upset, Uncle Tom. Dark European Samba. I, I'm just, I'm going to stop talking about, and I'm not going to talk about your masa, the racist pink people. I'm not going to talk about them. On this particular video, I will eventually talk about them, but this is not what the, the, this video is about. This video is about you. I have said in prior videos to this one that the Uncle Tom, the Sambo, the Dark European, these are some very confused individuals. How are they confused? Let, let me bring this 
and present uh, before us this example of their mentality. The Uncle Tom, the Sambo, the Uncle Ruckus, the dark European, they are patriotic. I said it again. The Uncle Tom, the Sambo, the dark European, Uncle Ruckus, these type Negroes are very, very, very patriotic to America. God, I seen some Negroes this morning on uh, the news. They were like, God bless America. They are very patriotic. They believe in freedom and give me liberty. Now, I don't know why they believe in it because they never had it. They never experienced it. But here they go. I believe in freedom. America is freedom. Now, check this out. And they hate dictators now. We represent democracy. They love freedom. And it is dumb to believe in freedom because that don't exist in the way that you believe that it exists. It is dumb for you to believe that you are really free. That's a delusion and a trick. There's no such thing. And I'll explain that perhaps as we go to the conclusion of this video. They hate the Uncle Tom, the Sambo. They hate the dark European. They hate dictatorships. Saddam Hussein was a dictator. Muammar Gaddafi was a dictator. We can't have none of that. Because first of all, our Martha, the great racist white or pink people. I hate saying white because they are not white. They are pink. Or the racist Caucasian people in power who they love. They don't like dictatorships. Most of the time. Now, most of these dark Europeans, they are Christians. What you think, what kind of rulership, what type of king do you believe that Jesus or this God, what you think they demonstrate? What you think they represent? All religions represent dictatorship. It's my way. Only. Or no way at all. They can handle that. And are these gods and goddesses and these religions, are they fair? Are they just? No, they are not. They are dictatorships. Quick example. You're driving down the road and you lose a tire off your car. The tire becomes free. All right? When any, anytime something becomes free, there's anarchy. There's chaos. You're going to have trouble. In this case, you're going to have an accident because the in order for you to drive that car properly, you need that tire on the car. But when the tire is under some type of law, when the nuts and the bolts are properly tightened, and the tire does what it should do within the law that it was manufactured, then there is no incident. You drive safely. You have to have law. The only problem with law is if the law is unjust and unfair. Because you cannot have freedom. Freedom equals anarchy. And that's why you live in this country. Because we do have freedom. Let me hurry up and get through this video real quick. Maybe I'll go ahead and just, just take the time that I need. Because I, I want to talk to these people because like I say, the Uncle Tom, these Negroes, they are they are very confused. So I love freedom. Freedom of speech, freedom of the gun, freedom of the press. Black people, it's all about the unity. Black people, it's all about